Right, we're going to look at this story today. It's the wrong way round. <laughs> oh, it's the wrong way round. Why can't we read a book that way round? Because all the, because all the pages are like all upside down. It'll be upside down. And the letters will be upside down. Like that. Oh, well done. Right, let's turn it the right way then. So, what do you think this story is about? Um, an owl and a cat. An owl and a cat, yeah, absolutely. There's an owl and there's a cat. And where else could we find a clue? Um, they're going to, they're going to go on a boat. You think they're going to go on a boat? That's a good clue. Um, why don't we look at, what's this called? Do you remember? It's called the title. Do you remember? The title tells us a little bit about the story. And this says the owl and the pussycat. So you were right, there's an owl and there's a pussycat. Can you remember where else we could find a clue? No? Okay, let me show you. Do you remember we look at the back of the story as well? And this says one owl, one pussycat and one pea green boat. That's a funny word. <coughs> Why do you think they called it pea green? Because there's peas on the flag. It, they, it looks like there's peas on the flag, doesn't it? I think it might be the colour as well. Maybe it's the same colour as peas. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's we... red and white. Red and white, well done. Oh, yeah. Shall we find out what happens in our story? Okay, well I'm going to start the story for you, and can you help me, can you tell me uh, how I could start my story? Once upon a time. Okay, that's how I'm going to start then. Once upon a time, there was one owl and one pussycat, and the pussycat was holding... Honey. Some honey, yeah, a jar of honey, and the owl was holding some... What do you think it could be? Money. We've got some coins and we've got some notes as well. So once upon a time the cat was holding some honey and the owl was holding some money. Can you carry on reading for honey me? Honey and money, that one. <gasps> Whoa, well done, honey and money. I wonder if we can see some more rhyming words as we go through. Right, you start from here for me. I think they're going to get everything ready. They're going to get everything ready. What are they getting ready? Ready to go on the boat. Great, so what kind of things did uh, they get ready? Um, look. I'm not sure. Okay, let's say what we see then. So let's have a look at this picture. What can you see? Oh, 
What does a guitar do? It plays some songs, absolutely. So this is a musical instrument. So they've got their honey, they've got their money, they've got their map and their boat and their guitar. And you said they were going to a different house. Interesting. Okay, let's turn the page and find out what happens. Okay, say what you've seen, what's happening. The owls playing tune. Oh, brilliant. That's a good word. Tune. I like that word. So the owl's playing a tune. Is. Now there's a good word that we could use. We could say sailing. Have you ever heard of that word before? No, sailing means that the boat is going across the ocean. It means the wind is pushing it across the ocean. And what is the That's a sailing boat. A sailing boat, wow, well done. Like, like the cord, like they, they look like that they wave in the air to like when they're landing, they might fall over. Oh, okay, so what what does the flag do? It waves. You can wave your flag, can't you, to show people who you are. Great, okay. Um, how do you think the cat's feeling about his tune? Um, good. Good? I think she's feeling quite good as well. Why do I think she's feeling good? What can you see? Smiling. She's smiling and she's she's got a big smile on her face and her eyes are closed, which means she's enjoying the music. Lovely. What happens next? Um, she's seen a bracelet. Is she seeing a bracelet? Have a look where these are coming from. What do you think this looks for? A I'm going to tell you what this is. This is a thought bubble and it means that the character is thinking about something. So she's thinking two things, isn't she? So, thinking about marrying. Oh, marrying. Good work. Why, um, why do you think she wants to marry the owl? Because I think she loves the owl. Oh, I think so too. She looks very much in love, doesn't she? And what has she got here that suggests she could get married? Sometimes when you get married, the bride has some flowers, doesn't she? Is this still a bracelet then, do you think? I think that's a ring. Oh, a ring. Why would it be a ring? When you get married, you exchange rings, don't you? You give rings to one another. Fantastic. Right, okay. So they're still going on their journey. I wonder where they're going to be. I think they're going to go to a house. Let's find out. They're still sailing. There's <gasps> four pictures here, so let's see if we can work mm -hmm. out what's happening. What are they doing first? They're sleeping. Okay. Next. They wake up. They've woken up and what are they doing? They're looking at the map. They're looking at the map. So there's a good word we could use here. We could use they're searching. They're searching. They're searching. What do you think they're searching for? The island. The island. Like he, he's got a telescope. A telescope. Great word. What does a telescope do? You, you look to, through it mm -hmm. and you see when then they're not small and they're big and they're not far away. So if something's and far they're close. Wow, so if something is far away, you look through the telescope and, and then it looks like they're quite big so you can see what's happening. And it's close. Right. I'm just gonna ask you one more thing. So we know that they're searching. What can you tell me about the background? Because that gives us a big clue to the story. There's the moon and then there's the sun. So what does that tell us? When it's when it's bedtime, the moon always comes up, moons are always white, the suns are always yellow, and islands are always like 
orangey-yellow. Yeah. Okay, why do you think that's orangey-yellow then? What do you think it could be? An island. What's the island made from? Sand. Right. So it was the moon, so that was bedtime, and now it's the sunshine, so this could be morning. And then it's so bedtime. Okay. Okay. And then it's bedtime and then it's morning. morning. So that means that's that... sunrise. That it's sunrise. Well done. Why is it sunrise? Because they've just woken up. They've just woken up and I think a big clue is that the sky is pink. Yeah, pink. <gasps> what have they got? The honey jar. Oh, no, Someone took away the honey Who do you think it could be? A monster. A monster took it away. Now let's just... Monster go... honey. Monster, monster honey. Let's find out. Night time. Daytime. Night time. Daytime. Do you think that is a long time, perhaps? I think they're going to find a house. And they're going to find a house, maybe? An island. Maybe. Now that honey the could honey mean... Tree. The honey could mean that they were eating the honey each day. Because it's daytime here, then nighttime again, then daytime again. Now before we find out what happens next, we are actually going to stop here now because you've done some amazing reading. We'll find out what happens maybe um, a bit later. Tell me where you think their house could be then. On the island. Mm, you said behind this tree, didn't you? Mm. So that's really exciting. I think perhaps you're right. I think they might find a house. I think they might be searching for something different on the island. We'll perhaps find out what happens on this map a bit later. But tell me... First of all, with this story, why do you think there's an owl and a pussycat? Do you think they would be friends in real life? You do? Th oh, that's very nice. I think they'll be married in the end of the story. Do cats and owls get married in real life? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> I think I'm not sure. I don't think they do get married in real life, but in this story, I think that they do. I think that. Uh, they might, well, they might do, we'll find she out. She's more like her because she loves the animals. Mm. Mm. I think you've done some fantastic reading and we learnt some really good words as well, didn't we? We had a telescope, we had married, we had sailing, and we found some rhymes. Well done, Lauren, I think you've done a fantastic job of reading.